talk about edge of your seat. The race to represent Silicon Valley in Congress is now just down to one vote. I've never seen that. And it really could come down to somebody's forgotten signature on their ballot. So we just got an update in the District 16 race to replace Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. It is a fight for second place. You can see it there. State Assemblyman Evan Lowe is now leading Joe Simidian by just one vote. So before this update, they were separated by two votes. The winner will face former San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo in the November election. So our Len Ramirez shows us what's happening behind the scenes to sort out this extremely tight race. Well, they are still processing the very last of the ballots that will be counted in this election. These are ballots that were sent in to the registrar of voters where the signatures didn't match or they were missing a signature. They make up about 1% of the total votes that were cast, but in this election, they will decide who goes on to the November runoff. Election workers are hand-loading so-called challenge ballots into scanners at the registrar of voters so they can be counted and help decide who moves on in the Congressional 16 race, Joe Simidian or Evan Lowe. It's a race that's still too close to call. On the line is the right to move on to November and challenge front-runner Sam Licardo for the seat in Congress. Right now we have 1,025 ballots that are still unprocessed, uh, a thousand of which are what we call challenged. It's a process that could go on for weeks. The registrar is required to contact the voters whose ballots are in question and attempt to verify the signature. Voters might even have to come to the registrar's office in person and cure their ballot. The same thing is happening in San Mateo County, which makes up part of the 16th district. So we're in the process of reaching out to those voters to make sure that they are in fact the ones that sent in those ballots. Evan Lowe, a member of the assembly working in Sacramento today, declined to comment. Joe Simidian, a member of the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors, sent us a statement that reads, quote, sometimes it takes a while for democracy to work. This is one of those times. That means counting and verifying all of the votes, every single one of them. By law, the registrar has until April 4th to count all of the ballots and certify the results. And then there's this information. The losing candidate will have the chance to request a recount that they would then have to pay for. The Secretary of State will certify the election results on April 12th.